Welcome to Santa Destroy, a small town on the west coast, right by the Mexican border with a lot more going on than meets the eye. There's a beach full of landmines, parking garages full of armed thugs, and a surprising concentration of professional killers. After winning a beam saber in an online auction and being propositioned by a strange woman to become the number one hitman, Travis Touchdown is ready to make a name for himself. I want to be number one. How's that? Your bike, the Spell Tiger, is a beastly machine that can take some getting used to, but after a while you'll find a few Wemo tricks that make getting around a little more interesting. Once you're able to bust out power slides and monster jumps on command, you'll start to feel like you own the road. The Santa Destroy Job Center is where you pay your dues, doing grunt work like mowing lawns, cleaning up graffiti, or hunting for poisonous scorpions. It's not exactly glamorous work, but it will learn you some pocket cash and open the door to more lucrative work at K Entertainment, a shady front where death is always on the menu. Here you can pick up side jobs that can net you substantial cash toward paying your next entry fee. Making the cut is fairly easy when you have an awesome laser sword to work with. You have to hold the Wiimote up or down to take a stance, and then use the A button to perform combos. When it's time to deliver the finishing blow, you'll slash your Wiimote to liberate heads from bodies or split an enemy clean in half. You'll also be able to throw in a punch or kick every once in a while and put the hurt on dizzied enemies with classic wrestling moves. And who knows, you may get lucky with a slot machine that spins with every death blow you land. When you have enough cash to cover the entry fee for the next ranking battle, you take your fat wad of cash to Santa Destroy's single ATM and make a deposit. Once you've paid the fee and gotten the details from your hot contact, Sylvia Crystal, you'll head to the designated location and get ready to throw down with the strangest bunch of killers you've ever seen. Things don't always go according to plan, so expect the unexpected when you step into the arena. Of course, you'll want to look your best. If you've got a few spare LB dollars in your pocket, you can head to Area 51 for new fashions including designer jeans, jackets, and a colorful selection of sunglasses. Or you can walk around the city kicking open dumpsters and looking for t-shirts. <laughs> it's hard to imagine why anyone would throw away ridiculously awesome shirts like these, but in Santa Destroy, one man's trash is another man's punk rock wardrobe. You spend a lot of time taking care of business, but in between missions you can chill at your totally otakued out hotel room, lounge on a comfortable seat, raid the fridge, throw on a new outfit, or play with your kitty while absorbing the funky, relaxing bass groove. When you live the stressful life of a professional killer, you definitely need a little chill time. Quit your bitching and get with the program. You've also got a few solid allies to help you improve yourself and your weapon. Your mentor and master, Thunder Ryu, runs a gym where you can hone your body into a more efficient killing machine. Dr. Naomi is a foxy swordsmith who will take large cash donations in order to build a better beam saber. With all the killing you have ahead of you, every little bit helps, which means it probably wouldn't hurt to check the video store for old wrestling tapes to pick up on a new suplex or takedown. <laughs> It'll be a long road to become the top-ranked assassin, but you've got the moves, you've got the sword, and you've got the spirit. The stage is set, so get ready to rock this town in early 2008. It's game time!